We are going to revise the uh, CL of two at the midpoint here, just to show you how to use your uh, formula sheet and revising CL of two. This is CL of two sections here, yeah? so you have to know the knowledge before you start solving the question. Now, you should have scratch paper, pen, pencil, eraser, calculator. If you are at home, you can get copy. This is a main point to show you when you have any question about the trade discount amount, the net price, uh, net price equivalent trade, single discount. All of this one is already the What in the discount uh, and the CLO2 is not in your formula sheet. This is a cross pay, it's not your formula sheet. Uh, calculate the cross pay, PCY, straight forward commission. This is not. Okay, but this two part in your formula sheet. This is the main point you have to know. Okay, let's go and start with question number one. Question number one about the concept, right? I used to write from right to left. So the rate discount is B here. Because this is a percentage discount given by the manufacturers, right? Cash discount is E because E is a reduction of the price to an early pay. Okay. So cash discount is when you have an invoice and you pay early. Chain discount amount. The chain discount amount when you have many discount at the same time. So this is D. Okay. A series of discount. Okay. List price. This is a price you find in the tag in the shop, right? Sometimes you don't write it uh, in price. So the list price is G. Okay. So G is the original price. Okay. And net price, this is what you pay in the cashier, right? Net price is the, uh, the one you pay in the cashier, right? So this is, uh, this is A, this is the amount you pay by the buyer after the trade discount has been deducted. Uh, net price, net price is equivalent trade is you multiply the series of the complement of the discount rate, right? So you can catch this one in the form of a sheet, the product of the complement. So if you look at the formula sheet, you will find this. Okay? Single equivalent discount, also in your formula sheet, you have a single discount amount, which is C. Stop writing the mid price equivalent, Rate from one or the complement, you can take the complement, right? So oh, most of this one you can catch from the formula sheet. Now go for the first question. The first question, you give you the net price. So this is the amount you are paying after you give the discount of, this is a discount rate, trade discount, right? It's not the amount. So which formula I'm going to use for this one? To be honest, I'm going to use both of these one because first I have to find the discount amount and the trade set from this one, right? Because I don't have uh, the list, I need the list price. So I need to, to find the trade discount amount. The trade discount amount from this one is the list price minus the trade set. I, I don't have the list price. I'm looking for the list price. So this is the list price. I'm using this one here. The trade discount amount is 5%. So multiply by 5%. Now I have a common factor, list price here and list price. Here. If I take the list price as a common factor, it's equal to 1 minus the 5%. So to give the list price, I know that the net price is given to me, which is 3,800. So if I divide it, to get the list price, I have to divide it by this one, right? So the list price will be equal to 3,800 
over one minus the five percent. Okay. This is how to get this one, right? So how much it will be? Yes, three thousand nine hundred ninety. Okay, three thousand nine hundred ninety. Or to have the list price, you have the net price divided by the percentage corresponding to the uh, net price, which is 90, 95%. If you don't like to go through this uh, procedure, you divided the net price over, yes, the equivalent price for this one, because this 3,800 3, corresponding to this one. If you divide it, you have the list price. If you don't like to go through this, okay. So the right answer is three thousand nine hundred nineteen. Next, yes, you are looking for what is the discount rate, the mean rate corresponding to the percentage. How to win the rate? You divide it, the discount over the price. Okay, so you divide it two seven five over one. 1,100 and multiply by 100 and make this percentage. How much you will you will get? As far as I calculated, 25%. So when you are asked about today, it must be what? Percentage. So don't forget to write the multiply by 100 to get the percentage. Okay, which formula I use for this one? Yes, here it is, rate discount rate. Rate discount rate. Here it is, right? I have the list price, which is one thousand one hundred, and I have the rate discount amount is two seven five. So, what's missing here? The trade discount rate is missing. So, if I divide it by this one, as I did here, I get the rate discount amount. To have this percentage, this is why I multiply by hundred five percent. So this is the right formula sheet for this question. For, the, for this question. Now, I go for this question. Total list price. Total list price because he has two thousand for each cell phone, but he has twenty of the cell phone. So I have to multiply the two thousand by the number of cell phone. To have the total amount, which is 40,000. Okay. In the next part, total trade discount amount. Total trade discount amount. This is the trade discount amount. Here it is, right? So I get the list of price. I just find the list of price in the first part, right? So the list of price is 40,000. Multiply. The trade discount amount is yes, twenty percent. So multiply by twenty percent. What do you have? Eight thousand. Yes. Now I know the list price and I know the discount. How to find the net price? It is a relation between the net price and the list price. I already hit the list price from my first part here. Yeah, so 40,000. Minus the rate discount amount I get in the second part here, 8,000. So the net price is supposed to be 32,000. Okay. Now I know how to use a formula sheet to find the answer for most of the question regarding the net price and the equivalent and it's got to be able to the net price equivalent rate. Now the net price equivalent rate is straightforward. Net price equivalent rate is here, right? In the formula sheet. But I have to know what does it mean complement of rate one. What is the rate one? Yes, in the exam you have to know how to read this one. This is not five divided five divided by four. This is you will get five percent and also four percent, right? Gotcha. 
So the component of the 5%, which is the first rate, is 100 minus the first rate, which is 5%. And the second rate complement is 100 minus 4%. So you will get how much you will get? 91. Yeah, 91.2%. So I get it from the formula sheet. And remember, rate in percent. How to find the percentage? This is how you have decimal, you have to change it by multiplied by, by 100 to find the percent. Single equivalent rate. Yes, I have the formula for single equivalent rate. Where is the single trade discount? Where is the single discount rate? Yes, here is number six. It is only the complement of NBE. What is NBE? This is NBE I just calculated now. Complement means one minus 91.2. Okay, which is, yes, 8.8%. Okay, so this is 100. This is what doesn't mean complement, right? So it is 8.8. I do nothing. I'm just plugging the number in the formula, right formula, right? The formula sheet. Now the trade discount amount. Where is the trade discount amount? Here it is. Trade discount amount is here. What is the list of price? It's 10,000. So 10,000 is my list price. Multiply by SED. This is SED. Right, I just think single equivalent discount rate, which is 8.8%. Okay. So how much you have? 880? Yes, 880. Now, the net price, I know the net price is always the list price, which is 10,000. Minus the three discount amount, I just find it now. So how much I'll get? Yes, 9,120. It's very easy if you have a question and you choose, you get the right formula and you can calculate. Now, here is a company, how to read this one? Yeah, this is different from the previous one. This is, he will get 4% if he pay within five days. And the second one, he will get 2% if he within 10 days. Pay. And he has nothing, no discount. This is no discount. If he paid within after 10 days, after 10. So from 11 to 30 days, no discount. Okay. Now I have to check the date of my invoice, which is August 7. Okay. And he paid already in 13th of August. You have a table for the date. You can count how many days, but this is easy from 7 to 13. He paid within six days. So he eligible for the first discount and also eligible for the second discount. How to do this one? I'll go with the same color. For the 4%, I get 8,000 times 4%. Yes, 8,000 times 4%. And I catch how much is it? It is 320. Okay, for the two percent, he will not get for the eight thousand again. He will get the eight thousand minus the part he get discounted, right? Which is seven six eighty, right? This is the eligible for the second discount, which is how much is it? Yes, two percent times two percent which will be 152.6 up to my calculation. 
Now, I have to deduct this value from the value I started with, right? So in August, you will get 7680 minus 52.6. What was the discount given? Sorry, I'm so sorry. I have to start the 8,000. 8,000. Minus. Yeah, you will pay by the end 7680 minus 152.6, right? which is 7,000, yeah, 7,526.4. Now, this is a discount amount, uh, sorry, the discount amount if you pay within the 10, less than 10 days, so right? it will be eligible for the two discount amounts. So you will get 8,000 minus the amount you get it from here, which is seven five two six point four nine seven five six two six seven point four. So you get a discount of four hundred seventy three point six out of every term, right? But he paid in August. 19 and the discount the invoice date is 7 from 7 to 19 greater than 10 days right so after no discount if he paid after 10 days so here he should pay that regular amount without any discount because he paid after 10 days right because the invoice date is 7 august 7 to 90 is how many days? 12 days. So he's not eligible for any discount, right? When it means you are asking about the date. In, in the American way, you write the month first and then the day. The invoice is 30 days. If you go for your table for the date and add 30 to the value of August 7, yes, you will get September 6. So the months would be nine and the date would be zero six. And by the way, this is my birthday. So I'd like to have this one. Do you have any formula here? Yes, because you use the net price three times, right? Uh, two times, okay? You use this one two times. Number seven, you have to know what does it mean semi-monthly. Semi-monthly, it means two every month. Two times per month. But he's asking about anyone. Anyone mean yearly by year, right? So two times a month. And you have 12 months, 12 months so you will pay 24 times, right? So you divided this one by... 24 because you will get to twice. This is the annual salary. If you would like to have it by semi monthly, how much pay semi monthly? So you divide it by 24. So 18,000 by 24. So 18,000 divided by 24. How much is it? I leave it for you to calculate it. But you have to know, semi-monthly, you have, if it is only monthly, you will divide it by 12, right? You divide it by 12, just to have. That way you change from yearly or annually, the same thing, into monthly, you divide it by 12. 
how many weeks we have in the uh, year? 52. By week, it means, yes, not two weeks is a uh, uh, semi monthly. The difference between semi monthly and bi week, bi weekly, it is 26 because you have two days a month, roughly different between the month and the weeks, uh, days, right? So you have to know how many weeks in the year, how many months in the year, how many semi months in the year, how many by week in the year, how many days, if you are talking about days, you have 365 days. So if you change from anybody to any one of these, you have to divide it by the corresponding value. Now, if you have an overtime, no formula in this here from the sheet, but you have to count how many hours in total you have done, right? So 28, 38, 47. So he has done 47. You will get 200. 20 dirham per hour, right? So you slide this one into 40 with the regular uh, hour rate and the extra he has done 47. So he make seven hour overtime. This one will be multiplied by 220 by each hour and corresponded to 1.5 hour, right? So this will be the regular payment, sorry, 8,800. The overtime will be 2,310. Okay, so the regular, how much is the regular payment? Regular payment with the regular rate. This is the regular rate. This is the overtime rate. So, and this is the overtime rate. Okay. What is the gross pay? The gross pay is the total. If you add this together, you will have the gross pay. So, you a, a, this is the regular plus the overtime, you will have the gross pay. So, the gross pay is the total of income you will get by the end of the week, right? And there is no formula in the formula sheet. Now, I receive monthly salary. This is a monthly salary, right? And it means plus salary. It means a plus, right? It means plus. It means plus, right? Okay, so he will get this one plus, but after under the condition, if he exceeds the 20,000, how much he has done? 100. So this 100, you will slice it into 20,000 and extra, which is 100 minus 20, will get 80,000. For this 200, he has a basic salary, right? 4,300. For the extra over the 20,000, so you, you have to know what is left from the total here, right? That's uh, only 1,000, right? Okay. What does it mean, draw 1,000? He mean he get a loan 1,000, okay? So this is what does it mean? So you will get the, for the twin, first 20,000, you will get the basic salary, right? Okay. And for the extra 80,000, you will get 10%. So you, this 80,000, you multiply by 10%, right? So this 
So when you multiply, your commission will be 80,000 times 10 percent, which is 8,000, right? This is your commission because you will get the commission when you exceed that 20,000. You have that 100, it means you will get commission for the 80,000. What is your commission rate? 10,000. So total commission will be 8,000, right? Now, how much will be my gross pay this month? So the gross pay is the total you will get for the basic salary, okay? Plus the commission. And don't forget, he hit the law 1,000, right? So you have to subtract this one. He will, he should get back the 1,000, right? So how much it will be? Eleven thousand three hundred. Catch the point. So don't forget the draw. It means he got a loan one thousand. Okay. So he should pay it back when he get his income, right? So the total amount he get by the end is one. The last question here. This is a scale of a different commission rate. Up to 18,000, you will get 6%. So how much he got? This 44. So you slide this 44 into the first 80. You multiply by 6%. Okay. And from 80 to 50, this is exactly 22,000, right? He get 44,000, right? So this 44, you can slice this into 18. What's left of 44? 24,000, right? This 24,000 is in between these two, right? Because from 18 to 30, 50, sorry, it is 32, 32,000. So he will not be eligible for this one because he didn't exceed the 50,000 say, right? So you multiply the first 18 by the percentage value for the 18. So how much you will get? One thousand. I'm not sure. This is not correct. 18,000 times six, this is eight, zero, yeah, one, zero. So 1,000, 18 down, okay. Now, this is a commission about this one. He's going for the rest of 44, 44 minus 18 is 26, sorry. So sorry. 26. Okay. So for the 26, that was it. You will get how much? This is 9%, right? So this 9% equal to what? And multiply this one, please. Yeah, 2,340. Now, if you would like to know the total of this one, you're just adding this together, right? So you have in total 3,420. 3,420. The main point here is to show you the question about the gross pay or the scale of the commission. You have no formula in the formula sheet. But the question about the net price, list price, Net equivalent rate, uh, net, uh, single discount rate in the formula sheet. But you have to know what does it mean complement. Complement, it means 100 minus the percentage you have. Okay. The last question. Also, I think now you can do it because he got 35 bucks. 
This 35 bags, you slice it from here to here, five bags. For the first five bags, you multiply by 30. And then from here to here, how many? 15. So the second 15, you multiply by 60. Okay, what's left? Now you have five and 15, 20. What's left from the 35? 20. From here to here, it is 30. So if you have 30 between 21 to 50, which is, uh, how much is it? 20, right? Uh, sorry, 15. I'm so sorry. 50. So the 35 is sliced into three sections. The first five, you will get this one. The second 15, because if you have 15, you can multiply by 16. If you have between these two, 21 to 35. So the 35 has slided from 1 to 5. And slide it from 6 to uh, 20. And I have another slice from 21 to 50, right? So I multiplied by 80. Now I can get the values for all of this one. So you have 150. The second one, 9,000, I think. Nine thousand. Oh, sorry, nine hundred. Sorry. For this one, one thousand eight hundred twenty. So check for this one, please. So the first five you multiply by thirty, and the next fifteen you multiply by sixty. The third one you multiply by eighty. If I calculate this one, I have 2,250. He's not eligible for this one because he is not exceeding the 50 because he's only done 35. This is the easy way to solve the question in your exam. Thank you. Wish you all the best.